That's all in violation of the board policy, and she knows that because they just went over that. That violation is the visitation policy for Lakota schools, discussed during a board meeting last week. The same board meeting Darby Body stormed out of after other board members called for her resignation. It followed a recent social media post that sent people to a pornography website. The policy states during school hours, visitors to any school building shall first report to the school office and follow sign in procedures. Individual board members who are interested in visiting shall make the appropriate arrangement with the principal. District leader says body did neither. And so we want something to happen. This is not OK to just violate board policy. We can't do it. No one should be able to do it. Walking into several school buildings, including here at Lakota East High School, taking pictures of students and teachers in classrooms. I don't know what she expects to find. We're a great school district. We have great kids. We have great teachers. Lakota parent Sandy Wheatley started ACT, Advancing Communities Together. For this reason, bringing communities and parents closer to teachers, keeping them informed. Very frustrated that uh, we have someone that is trying to normalize uh, a behavior that isn't normal for a school board member. We were unable to reach body, but she made a post on her Facebook page saying in part, I fully understand this is not traditionally what board members have done, but I would like to think that any awkwardness involved will soon give way to the virtues of this kind of attention and effort. Now, the Lakota School District did release a statement to WLWT saying in part that we are disappointed by Miss Bodie's actions. We will not tolerate behavior that violates our policies, especially where it interrupts the learning process for our students and uncomfortable work environment for our staff. Live in Lakota, Lacey Roberts, WWT News 5. So Lacey, I'm wondering, did they mention any further disciplinary disciplinary actions that may be taken or maybe any steps moving forward? Yeah, Sheree, I did ask that exact question to the president of the association, and she says that along with principals and building supervisors that were here today, they will be having a meeting and possibly a parent forum to discuss further actions that are happening. But as we know, the Ohio school, the Ohio school boards do not have the authority to make her resign. She'll have to do that on her own. All right, Lacey Roberts live for us tonight. Thank you.